This is a Tupps Indispensable. This is a classic English fly that is uh, actually a style of fly that I tie. It's a wet fly. The working thread and the body are all pretty much in one, uh, in one movement. I'm using a kind of a primrose yellow thread. I wrap it back to the heel of the hook. I'm using a Coke de Leon feather for the tail. This happens to be a, a whiting version. You want those tails very sparse, just slightly longer than the body, and tapered. Don't stack them. Now I normally pinch them on. I'm just doing it this way so you can kind of see. Then you're going to wrap that thread up over the, uh, the waist ends, wrap it clear back, and then wrap it in close turns to about the midpoint on the hook. The thorax is made up of a brown hen hackle. You can use blue dun, you can use a pale brown, any color you want, and a mixture of uh, yellow and uh, red uh, dubbing. And I've added a little bit of sparkle to it for contrast. You begin by grabbing the end of that hackle and just brushing it back. You want to clip it off, tie it on with the good side facing forward. Take a very small pinch of dubbing, and you want to dub fairly loosely. You don't want to dub hard. Um, you want this to be kind of fluffy so that the, uh, the hackle has something to bury itself down into and it provides some protection. And this is a flimp style of hackling that I prefer for wet flies over the, the classic one where you've got just your, your hackle applied right here. I'm applying it throughout the entire thorax region of the fly. And if you look at a feather, there'll be a good side and a bad side, usually. And I will wind it with the good side facing out. In this case, it's going to be kind of opposite of what most people are used to wrapping. You want to make about, oh, two or three wraps through that thorax and finish off with a single wrap right in the front. You'll notice I'm kind of brushing each turn of the hackle back. You finish it off with a, a nice small head.